Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. At this point in this video series, we have a database, tables, data in the tables. We have an application and a couple of pages that we have created, the home page and then a report and a form page for projects. Before we continue with our development, we need to take a minute and look at the data model again and plan for what type of user interfaces, what pages, forms, and reports that we want to create. So I'm going back to the data model. And one of the things you need to ask yourself as you try to decide what to build is which of these tables would be standalone that you might show uh, by the, themselves by itself instead of in conjunction with another table. So after discussing this among the development team, the decision was that we would have standalone forms for projects, teams, students, workshops, and eval items. Essentially what we mean is it makes sense logically to look at individual records in the data that are the data in these tables in the database. However, there are things such as the evaluation and its related eval item scores or attendance for a workshop or attendance for a student. We would not typically go in and look at the data for attendance without seeing at the same time the student for which those attendance records are being shown or the workshop which shows the attendances or the attendees uh, which are the students attending the workshop. So sometimes in a one-to-many relationship that parent-child relationship means that you always want to see those tables together and if we do that we have a master detail and we're not going to do that yet we're going to go ahead and create the simple forms and reports for the tables indicated here. So I switch back to the application and I'm logged in as developer Diana because she has the to-do tasks of creating some of these simple forms and reports. So we'll go ahead and click on the application builder, go into our application. I'll step through quickly just on the Teams report and form and I won't explain too much because we've been through that before. I do want to include a tab in this case because I will have tabs for these simple forms and reports across the top of most web pages in the application. And I would go back just you know, I changed the page name from the region title simply so it's easier later on when you're in design mode to see how those different text labels apply. It's not necessary that you make them different. Okay, so now I run this. So now I have a team tab. I have the home page. I can go to teams. I have the team report using the user interface defaults and I can go in and see the team form. So I'm going to pause the video and create the simple report and form for the other tables in our design that we said would have those reports and forms and then I'll return to the video. So now if I run my application you'll see tabs across the top for projects, teams, students, workshops, and eval items. 
Each one of those starts out with a calls up a report. I can click on a particular record and go into the form to edit that record. Coming back to our design, what we will do eventually, actually in the I think in the next video, is we will do the master detail because we will always want to see attendance data associated with a particular workshop. We could also make a master detail for student and attendance. Anytime you have a one-to-many relationship, you have potentially a good situation for creating a master detail. We will also create evaluation and eval item scores. But once again, you almost there's there's really no practical reason for looking at just the records in this table without seeing the associated evaluation or looking at attendance, which would just have three columns with numbers, the number of the attendance record, the number of the student, and the number of the workshop. We always want to see it associated to one of its parent tables. The only other thing we would do, and I won't do this during the video, is we should at this point test our forms by adding data, updating data, and possibly deleting data just to verify that all the forms work.